Okay, guys, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're watching from, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. Good evening and welcome to Abona and the 103.5 FM news update today, Tuesday, the 26th day of December 2023. And the time is four minutes past the hour of six. Martin Ifan Shuku Ekeze is my name. The headlines. Saludo to residents. We stand on the threshold of brighter tomorrow. Why we postponed reopening of collapsed Enugu Portaclot Express Bridge, Enugu government. Governor Oti commissions street lights in Aba, says 2024 budget will give freedom to fly. A communion as Pasoludo is buried. Southeast Development Commission bill major win for Nlibu Oga. Tourists to Kenya can go visa free in 2024. Now, details. <laughs> Saludo to residents. We stand on the threshold of brighter tomorrow. An State governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, has assured the state's people that with his administration, they stand on the threshold of a brighter tomorrow. He said Monday, December 25th, in Oka, in his message, that Christmas was a season of love, light, and goodwill, adding that he found us at a pivotal moment in the journey of our dear state. Soludo noted, we stand on the threshold of a brighter tomorrow, having weathered the storms and the challenges together, emerging stronger and more united in our resolve to build a better, safer, prosperous homeland. This year, we, as we gather in churches, families and communities, let us celebrate the birth of Christ with grateful hearts, 
Let us count our blessings and remember the resolute faith that carried us through the year as the abiding love for our homeland continues to be our guiding compass. As your governor, I pledge to continue working tirelessly to build the Anambra of our dreams, a state where every citizen thrives in a secure and prosperous environment and the light of opportunity shines brightly for all. On this blessed Christmas season, I pray for peace, joy, abundance for each and every one of you. May the spirit of Christmas fill your homes with warmth, your hearts with love, and your lives with blessings beyond measures. He stated. While we postpone the reopening of collapsed Enugu Portacot Express Bridge, Enugu government, the Enugu state government has explained why it postponed the reopening of one lane of Enugu Portacot Expressway Bridge, which collapsed about three months ago. The state government says it has to postpone the reopening of one lane of the collapsed bridge, which had been earlier scheduled for December 24th for safety purposes until it had been fully completed. This disclosure is contained in a statement issued by the Enugu State Commissioner for Information and Communication, Aka Ezeaka, on Monday, December 25, 2023, in Enugu. Aka stated that the bridge will no longer be reopened as announced, saying that based on the experts' advice, the bridge should no on completion be subjected to a series of integrity tests to certify its fit for public use. The Enugu State Governor, Pitamba, had earlier announced that the federal government would commence a reconstruction work on the collapsed Enugu Potakot Expressway Bridge on November 10th. <music> Governor Oti commissions street lights in Aba says 2024 budget will give freedom to fly. Dr. Alex Oti, OFR, the governor of Abe State, has said the 2024 budget will unlock the great potential that abound in the state and enamel her ah, to rise to greater heights. Governor Oti spoke at the weekend during a reception held in his honor by the people of Aba South at the School of Health, Science and Technology, Aba. He said the budget, which has already been passed into law by the Abia State House of Assembly, will take the state out of the deep hole that it found itself and release it so that it can fly. Governor Oti subsequently commended the leadership of the House, shared by Right Honorable Emmanuel Emerua, the Speaker, and every member of the House for considering the budget expeditiously. He described the Speaker, who also represents the Abad South State constituency in the House, as a gift to the state and expressed confidence in his leadership of the legislative arm of the state government. He thanked all of Abad residents for their unwavering support right from the beginning of his quest to lead Abia State in 2015 and restated his commitment to rebuild the, the Eni Mba City, which he described as the function, the industrial and commercial hub of Abia State, maybe of the Southeast, maybe of Southern Nigeria, he stated. A communion as a Pasoludo is buried. The father of the Anambra State Governor, Chuku Masoludo, and the national leader of all progressive Grand Alliance, Pasimion Soludo, was laid to rest in his Umweze village, Isopia community, in Aguata local council of the state on Saturday. After a church service, the burial mass was presided over by the Catholic Bishop of Ekuloga Diocese, His Eminence, Peter Cardinal Obalekes, at St. Teresa's Catholic Church in Umweze, Isopia, in his sermon. Cardinal Obaleke comforted the family, emphasizing the remarkable life of Pasoludo, which he said was impactful and exemplary. In his welcome address, Governor Soludo appreciated members of the clergy present at the burial mass, acknowledging their invaluable support, guidance, and spiritual presence during this difficult time. The governor also extended his heartfelt gratitude to everyone in attendance at the funeral service, thanking all those who came to pay their respect and offer prayers, as well as supporting the Soludo family in different ways during their time of grief. He thanked God for the kind of life his father lived, stressing that his memory will forever remain in their hearts. Also, the Mayit Ala Cattle Breeding Association of Nigeria has described Pasoludo as a detribalized Nigeria. The Deputy National Director General of Mahban, Gidado Sidiki, noted that the last meeting the association had with the late Pasoludo spoke volumes about his virtues as somebody who is deep in wisdom and who noted discrimination and intimidation. Southeast Development Commission Bill, major win for Ndibu Oga. The member representing Ishukuato Umunoshi, Federal Constituency of Abia State, Honorable Amobi Oga, 
has said that the passage of the recent Southeast Development Commission bill by the House of Representatives will transform the Southeast when signed into law. He stated this on Sunday at his country home in Uturu, Abia State. He explained that when it comes into effect, the Southeast Development Commission will bring unprecedented development to the region and also address the cries about marginalization of the region. He praised the leadership and members of the National Assembly for passing the bill, even as he said that the members of the House from the Southeast have formed a united front for the region's development. On the Supreme Court judgment rejecting indigenous people of Biafra IPOB leader, Mazen Nandekano's freedom prayers, Oga said the chances were very high that he would soon be released by the federal government. Now we move over to the foreign scene. Tourists to Kenya can go visa-free in 2024. Visitors to Kenya from across the world will no longer require a visa from January, President William Ruto said on December 12th. Ruto said his government had developed a digital platform to ensure all visitors will receive an electronic travel authorization in advance instead of needing to apply for a visa. It shall no longer be necessary for any person from any corner of the globe to carry their, the burden of applying for a visa to come to Kenya, he said in a speech in the capital Nairobi at an event to mark 60 years of independence from Britain. Ruto has long advocated for visa-free travel within the African continent. At a conference in Republic of Congo in October, he said people from African countries will not require a visa to visit Kenya by the end of 2023. This is where we draw the curtain on news updates on Ebonade 103.5 FM. But before we leave, a quick look at the headlines. Saludo to residents. We stand on threshold of brighter tomorrow. Why we postponed reopening of collapsed Enugu Portacot Express Bridge, Enugu government. Governor Oti commissions street lights in Aba says 2024 budget will give freedom to fly. A communions as Pasoludo is buried. Southeast Development Commission bill major win for Ndibu Oga. Tourists to Kenya can go visa free in 2024. <music> Here is a public service announcement about a missing person, Mr. Godwin Ozemena Aniakwena, age 79 years, from Aba, Njiko Kaloku government area of Anambra State, last seen on 25th December 2023 at Afoigwe, Ogidi. He is age in height, fair in complexion, and has white beards. He was wearing a light lace. If seen, please. Contact Mr. Godwin Emeka Anyakwena on 080-37-790026 or 080-2280-02203. Or you come to Ebona at 103.5 FM. Here is also another announcement about uh, someone for, forgot LG Android phone in a bus. And the owner should come to Ebona at the 103.5 FM to lay claims to the item. A carton of Gideon Bible was forgotten in a vehicle going from Head Bridge to Nkwere. Please come to Ebona at the 103.5 FM to lay claims to these items. You just listen to news updates on Ebona at the 103.5 FM. News produced and read by Martin Efa and Shuku Ekeze. Thank you for listening. Good evening. <music>
solution wine shop. Are you about to wear or celebrate any kind of event to celebrate with the finest wine at the solution wine shop? We deal on foreign wine, original French Spanish wine, talk about red wine, white wine, champagne rose. Do you want it on wholesale or retail? We are capable to supply. This is direct importation from Spain, France, and Italy. Have a taste of masterpiece in wine. Sonata red wine, aged since 2015. Cross Amada Champagne. Visit G Solution Wine Shop today at Old Enugu Onesha Expressway. Oluolisa, opposite First Bank Omunike. We also need distributors. You can contact us on 090 <laughs> 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 When I will tell you the HJ radio drama, there we go. There we go, my love. Hello, people complain about not using their talent the way they want to. We'd like this opportunity to an aspiring actor, musician, dancer. Here is the opportunity you have been waiting for. Register with Babuwa Productions at Ebona at the 103.5 FM today to make your God giving gift money making venture using your god given key today for more information call 080 don't miss out on this opportunity <laughs> can we talk about the challenges we are having on our streets our community our society in general streets report if we do not address these challenges on airborne and the fm who will as the happenings around us gets as complicated as they can be our government street report is here street report is here with hardcore journalism to get to the roots of our problem why don't you join me, Martin Ifan Shukubi, SR number the first, every Friday, 4.30 p.m. on Apple Radio 103.5 FM, as Street Reports on Fools. In your face. On your mask in the corner. 24-7. 24-7. Hello, people from Fools. My people, Ado Gidi Beauty Pageant 8th edition is here again. Are you a girl from Ogidi Town? Are you up to 18 years of age? Do you have what it takes to wear the crown? Come and grab this opportunity now. Prizes. Winner. 650,000 Naira. First runner of 200,000 Naira. Second runner of 100,000 Naira. Date, 30th December 2023. Time. 6 p.m. Venue, the Ophi Residency Hotel Ogidi. The sponsors are Residency Hotel Ogidi, Ebon Adi FM Ogidi, Kentucky Homes Limited, Lagos, Castro International Limited, Holland, and Eco Ogidi Canada Motors. For sponsorship and inquiry, call 0901-3566-263 or 0811-6536-2000.
Man is a political animal. That's why we all have our views 